Grab your popcorn as we recap a movie with Eva Green and a touch of Filipino folklore. Christine is a busy mom but also a fashion designer for children. She brings her daughter Bob's to school. While her husband Felix goes to work as well. At her fashion show, Christine does a very good job. She gets interrupted by a phone call from someone. She's horrified to hear the news about how people were pulling out multiple bodies. Christine says she's unable to process the news right now and hangs up. Suddenly, a tick-infested dog appears in front of her. It approaches her while staring at her intently. Then it shakes its ticks all over her. One tick latches onto her, and suddenly the dog is nowhere to be found. Some time has passed and Christine is now on a sleep apnea machine. There's still a red mark on her neck from the tick. She looks sick and more out of it now compared to before. She gets ready for a sales pitch by grabbing her lucky shoes and chanting, lucky shoes never make me lose. Later, Liz looks over her new designs. However, Liz is more worried about how Christine is doing after the incident. Christine says she's fine now and is looking forward to getting back to work. Liz notes that Christine had a lot of pressure back then and even sourced the manufacturing of her designs herself. While Liz hesitates on accepting the new designs, Christine feels a sharp pain in her hand. The pain is so bad she has to take medication for it. Back at her house, Christine gets a call from Liz saying they're willing to accept her new designs but Christine will have to modify it. Suddenly, a spoon falls then the doorbell rings. It's Diana, a woman who was hired by Christine to help around the house. Christine can't even remember hiring her. With Christine's new mental state, she seems to have been forgetful. When Diana is all settled, she opens up her suitcase which has many Filipino knickknacks. She grabs a photo of her child and stares at it with great intent. She then reminisces about giving birth to her child. Both Diana and Christine have a weird moment of sharing similar memories. Diana then notices a tick on the floor, so she captures it in a matchbox. When Felix and Bob's get home, they're not as welcoming to Diana. Diana introduces herself and says she's from south of Cebu City. Diana then says she can work on dinner later. Christine is shocked that Diana is going straight to work. And Diana reiterates that yes, she will go straight to work. Diana cleans up the fireplace ashes. Then she overhears Felix complaining about Christine forgetting about hiring Diana. Then Diana plays a few notes on her xylophone. While preparing dinner, Diana puts her finishing touches by grabbing something in her bag. While they're eating dinner, everyone is shocked at how tasty it is. Suddenly, Christine feels a sharp pain from her hand again. Diana decides to help her by tickling Christine, then the pain disappears. Everyone is pleasantly surprised at Diana's powers. At night, Bob's notices Diana at the stairs, but at first she thought she saw the tick-infested dog. While cleaning, Diana inspects the clothes in Christine's designing room. She looks at the sewing machine, then finds an article on Christine's wall. Christine is posing her design on a Filipino girl that reminds Diana of her child. In the middle of the night, Diana opens up the ashes that she collected earlier and puts it right outside her door for some reason. She then hears sounds of a girl saying, I'm here with you. A flashback of Diana's life in the Philippines occurs where she met her husband. In the morning, Bob's inspects the ashes by Diana's door and there's small footprints on it. Diana decides to put it away while Bob's looks at her with suspicion. Diana then brings Christine and Felix bed and breakfast. Diana strikes up a conversation about Christine's old sewing machine. Christine says she no longer uses it and has helpers to make the clothes for her. Diana wonders who those helpers are, but Christine doesn't want to admit that she outsources her work from third world countries. Christine tells her to leave, but Diana inspects the room before she does. Before heading to school, Bob's tells her mom about the footprints that she saw. However, Diana enters the car before Bob's can elaborate. While driving to school, Christine realizes she's going the wrong way and can't remember anything. The three decide to walk to school instead. When trying to call for a cab to get back home, Christine has trouble even pressing the correct buttons. Diana says she can help her get better by using Filipino folk remedy. Back at the house, Diana prepares a smoky room, then blows bubbles into a dirty mason jar. She's cleansing Christine. Christine wonders how Diana received all this knowledge. 
Diana narrates how she received this power when Enomo came to their house. Enomo has great power that can either destroy or heal you. When Enomo dies, the power is transferred over. We see this when a bird goes from the old woman to Diana. After this, Diana started understanding the power of the earth. She would heal people, but others also feared her. Diana says it's important to trust the medicine and to trust people. Suddenly, Christine feels so much better. Later, Diana makes some sort of shrine with a picture of her and her daughter in the fireplace. Christine interrupts her and lets her know what symptoms she usually gets. Christine has been feeling like she's losing her mind because of her painful symptoms, but then they suddenly disappear when she sees a doctor. Christine wonders if Diana can cure all her other symptoms. Diana says she can as long as Christine fully trusts her. They start her treatments including a bath and some acupuncture on her toes. Diana even burns some of Christine's hair. One night, Bob's gets a dream of Diana flying. A flashback is shown of Diana and her family leaving their village as people threaten them to leave. They move to Cebu City for a new life. Later, Christine is upset that her meds are gone. Diana reminds her that Christine threw them out. Christine says it's another memory loss, but Felix doesn't think so. He starts to suspect something is wrong with Diana. Diana has gotten closer to Bob's by this point as she brings her to school every day. Later, while Christine is working, she hears a girl crying in her sewing room. She thinks it's Bob's, but suddenly, the room is filled with smoke and fire. Christine tries to escape the room, but she's locked in. When Felix enters, the room is back to normal and everything is fine. In the middle of the night, Felix talks to Diana about Christine's mental state. He says all of Christine's symptoms are in her head. Some sort of guilt has been building up in Christine. Felix commands Diana to stay out of Christine's head. However, Diana stands firm and says she will chase out the demons from Christine's head. The two have a quarrel. Then Diana tells him to be careful when walking down the stairs. When going down the stairs, Felix is attacked by their housebird, so he punches it and it dies. The next morning, Diana and Bob's have a small funeral for the bird. Bob's vents about the bullying she's been getting. The two share a moment. Diana says she will be with Bob's, always. Then Bob's calls her dad a murderer. Sometime later, Diana performs a ritual on Christine to push out the demons. Christine ends up speaking in another language saying she doesn't want to see. Then Christine hugs Diana after the images Christine just saw in her head. After school, Christine picks up her child for once. Christine says she is so happy and feeling a lot better these days. A flashback occurs of Diana's new life in Cebu City. She vents to her husband that her daughter has been going with Diana to work and that is not a life a child should have. He wonders if Diana can start using her healing powers to earn money. However, Diana has never been interested in exploiting her powers like that. One day, Diana decides to bring Bob's elsewhere instead of going to school. Diana shows Bob's how to bird call and teaches her. This reminds Diana of her time with her daughter. The two of them take studio photos together. Subsequently, Christine uses her lucky red shoes on a new sales pitch. Liz is impressed with Christine's work and decides to hire her for the new Southeast Asian collection. Back at the house, Felix decides to inspect Diana's room. He finds Diana's shrine and weird bottles. Then he finds a bag of Christine's medication under Diana's bed. When Christine is home, Felix tells her about the discovery. Christine is upset at Diana for manipulating her. However, Diana says Christine should trust her. Felix notes that Diana has probably been putting the medication in Christine's food. Making Christine think she's all better, so that way Christine is dependent on Diana. Diana refuses all of these claims. Christine fires her. Diana packs her things. She plays the xylophone then releases the tick into the vent. Diana says goodbye to Bob's and asks for one last favor in order for them to be together forever. The family then watch her leave. This reminds Diana of a time when she left her husband and tells him that he will never see her again. The two cry it out. In the middle of the night, the tick has grown to a large one as it crawls on Christine. She sees it on her husband, then all of a sudden Christine sees the dog again. The next morning, Bob's lies to her mom saying Felix had Christine's medication stashed in his car. 
Christine is shocked at the revelation. Then she gets mad at Felix. Felix wants to get to the bottom of things because he knows Bob's is lying. However, Christine has gone full wacko because she really believes Felix is manipulating her. While going up the stairs, Felix hears Diana's voice warning him about the stairs. A bird suddenly appears and it causes Felix to fall off the balcony. He's taken to the hospital to get better. The next day, Diana performs a xylophone ritual. Subsequently, Christine is at work doing a video shoot to display her clothes. Christine starts to notice the kids are tick infested. Then Liz has ticks on her now too. She sees the dog. Then falls to the floor. Suddenly Christine is screaming at Liz and looks like a madwoman. Everyone stares at her like she's crazy. Back at home, Christine lays in bed after he full manic episode. The doorbell rings and Bob's is happy to see Diana. Christine is surprisingly relieved as well. A flashback occurs of Diana bringing her daughter to work at a warehouse. She tells her daughter to sit under the sewing machine while she works. And we're shown the tag of the clothes is the brand Christine works with. Diana then gets a spoonful of ashes and feeds it to Christine. She tells Christine it's time for her to understand. Then she makes Christine work on the sewing machine. The flashback continues of Christine at the warehouse where Diana works. Christine tells the manager to speed up production by having the girls work harder. Christine also commands them to lock up the doors in the warehouse to keep the employees from stealing the clothes. Christine notices Diana's daughter and asks her to come out from under the table. The two take a photo together, that photo we saw from the article earlier in the movie. While working, Diana notices Christine. In the present time, Christine is working on the sewing machine while Diana commands her to do a double shift. Diana says this is much better than a cure to her illness. The flashback continues, the warehouse is getting really hot so Diana wants to grab some coconut juice for her daughter. She goes to the manager to ask him to unlock the warehouse door. She has to be inspected before she leaves so she doesn't steal anything. Diana then goes a few stores away to get some coconut juice. While this happens, Christine is complaining about the heat in her room as well. Diana demands her to finish the work. Back to the flashback, the manager hits the fan but this causes a spark to ignite some clothes. The guy tries to stop the fire from spreading. Meanwhile, Diana is waiting for her coconut juice, she notices commotion from the warehouse. She rushes to the warehouse while her daughter is calling for her mom. She commands to be let in, but the warehouse is still locked with chains. Subsequently, Christine is on the sewing machine vomiting. Diana speaks in her native tongue. Then suddenly, Diana is transported into a burning building. We see what Diana's daughter experienced. She covers her eyes because she doesn't want to see everyone burn. Once the firefighters are there, there's nothing but destruction and death. Diana sobs then sees the tick-infested dog. She uses her magic to teleport this dog to Christine. Diana then admits everything to Christine. Christine is nothing but a tick. A parasite that sucked everything from her. Diana plans on taking Christine's daughter from her as well. Diana leaves Christine to burn. Christine faces Diana's daughter who was caught in the fire. Christine screams in terror as she's burned alive. Diana then tells Bob's that they will be together forever. She tells Bob's to go to the garden and to look up. Diana then jumps from the roof and splats on the floor while Bob's witnesses this. The bird from Diana leaves her mouth and goes into Bob's mouth. Bob's becomes the new umu. Meanwhile, Felix has come home from the hospital. Only to find Christine has burnt to a crisp and only her lucky red shoes remain. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like. It really helps the channel.